Hello and welcome! My name is Ajax Post and join me here once again in Transport Fever 2 as we're riding along in the cab of a lorry with grass growing out of the road. Yes, it's one of my new trucks. You didn't see me do this bit, but I think I mentioned that it would need doing, although I would do it off camera. Is This is the Trowbridge Tool Delivery Service, which is taking tools from our Westbury, Shepton Mallet kind of planks and tool manufacturing chain. And yeah, it's going into Trowbridge. Uh, it's only very, very recently been added, and I've got three quite expensive trucks running on this route, and I think one of them now has a tool to deliver. It's not this one. As you might be able to see in the very bottom left, it thinks it wants to carry logs. Yeah, no, Trowbridge does not want logs. Anyway, I thought we'd just all start with that view as we get into, there it is, DB Schenker. Again, another lovely mod. Right, I'm going to pause this for a second. Oh, there's a bus. Where's that bus going? Are you making money? Oh, you are making money. Sorry, I'm just distracted. Uh, oh, um, it's obviously summer here. Yeah, we've got rather good weather actually here, certainly in the south of England. We've had a few days of rather pleasant, dry, warm weather for a change, which I think is supposed to carry on into the weekend. But anyway, uh, Bradford on Avon Link. Oh, well, you're making a little bit of money. You've only been running for a little while. Well, that's, that's all good. That's all good. The, the thing about this map, or any game that's been going on this long, is you get to this stage where you think, Ooh, I could do this. I can add this into the game. I, I can now start utilising these resources, like adding in these, uh, these new cargo and freight options. Or you could spend a lot of time fixing things that have suddenly gone wrong. Well, not suddenly, because they gradually go wrong, like all the traffic and congestion build-up and so on. So, yeah, there's all sorts of things that, that I could do here, and I've got a long list on my notepad next to me of things I want to do. Uh, one of them, actually, which actually isn't in the notepad, but I did spot a little while ago, is this oil route here. Uh, this is doing quite well, this, this uh, oil refining plant. It could do with a little bit more input, again, because one crude oil, or sorry, two crude oil turns into one refined oil. And we're certainly now increasing the output of the fuel, which now delivers to Wells, to Burnham-on-Sea, as well as Western. I do want to get it into Breen as well, but I might do that off camera or in a separate episode. I've got other things I want to do today. Uh, but I was thinking we could get some oil coming down here into this little stop here. Uh, yeah, we could do with some configuring you, couldn't we? So let's have a look. So we've got that route there, and we've also got the, come on, the Wells Crude route going around there. So I think if we put you in, yeah, a nice little truck route will do quite nicely, I think. So let's configure this. We're gonna add in some more platforms. Uh, they're coming in from, they're going to be on this side, so they're going to be stopping up here, aren't they? Uh, so we'll put that, that. Uh, actually, no, it's a drop-off loop. It's just a drop-off, isn't it? It's just dropping off uh, crude oil. So it doesn't need to be that long. But I'm going to make it longish, just to sort of, yeah, show that things are happening. Should we put a, oh, we'll put a, a shed at the end. So the, the someone operating that uh, that ter that terminal, that platform, okay, uh, which means we also need a, where's, I've lost it, where's my oil field <laughs> up here, we'll probably put a new piece of road in there to be honest, let's get rid of those, they're in the way at the moment, as are you, as are you, go away, right, a little bit of a terminal, a little bit of a cargo station in here, Ooh, what are you, oh, you're, you're these big fancy ones, aren't you? I, I do so want to use these, and I probably will, but not all oh, gas station series. Uh, that is that is actually a petrol station, as we'd call it in the UK. Uh, I think I'll, I'll stick with, because it needs it to have fairly long platforms, potentially. We'll stick with uh, a standard one here, which is truck station by era. So we'll take you. We just want one platform on the left. We'll put it on the left. There you go. And and if we turn you round, like that way round, that makes it easier for them to go straight through, I think. Oops. Okay, we'll line you up there. That looks good to me. 
Splendid. Right, and we'll configure you. Uh, can we delete one of these platforms? We'll take you off. Now they pick up from the right, so they're gonna. This is. Yeah, they're going to want to pick up from this end. I think they'll be coming in from this uh, right hand side. I think, if I, can, if I remember the orientation of the of the vehicles. So we'll just, we shouldn't need it that long, but I'm going to make it that long anyway. Uh, street access. Uh, actually, what we could do is can delete that. And we'll have a entrance. We can go in... No, you need to go in there, don't you? And we'll have an exit. Which will be like that. We can come out like so. And a little bit of country road to wrap it up. Your nice speed, so we'll take you. Are you connected? You don't look connected, but I suppose you are. And you're coming in. Right, you're going to be coming in this side, I think, aren't you? So we want you to come down and join the road here. Okay, that looks a bit naff, but does it work? I suppose it might. Yeah, okay. And you'll be coming... It's the wrong way round, isn't it, really? No, we'll have it... Uh, have them coming off here. We'll keep this straight, actually. Like so. And uh, then you can go up there. And uh, if you come out, make this one a little bit curvy. And you can go up there. Okay, does this line work? So if we add a new line from there, we'll make it a bit black for oil to there. It almost works. I want you to go to platform. Did I not put that extra platform on there? Oh, platform one is up there now, is it? Oh, it does it automatically. Excellent. Yep, that works perfectly. So what, what should we call this? We'll call it Burnham Crew Delivery. And we need some trucks. And we've got a depot there. We've also got one here. Uh, we'll take them from here. Okay, so do we have any good oil tankers? We should have crude oil. And which ones are we using? We've been using these, I think, haven't we? We could use... Well, let's use a different... It's a different oil field, isn't it? So we'll use the Alice or Aral. It says, oh, it's, I think it says Alice Super. Is that, is that Super Go or Go Super? Possibly. Yeah, we'll use you. And we'll take three of you. I think that should be more than enough. And we'll place you on that route there. Excellent. Right, so that should feed in and create extra refined oil for us, which is fine. And the other thing I wanted to do around here was add in a route, or passenger route, a service between Burnham-on-Sea, Barrow and Breen. Possibly also then connecting up to Western Supermare here. Possibly. Now, these days, that would be a bus route. Simple, straightforward, that would be a bus route. But what I'm thinking is, let's not be too hung up about being realistic here. And let's be uh, kind of anti-beaching. And let's put some proper local train services in place here. Uh, the thing then is, can I do this without too much destruction and demolition of any of my towns? Now, I was thinking of running it directly from Burnham, but what I think might work actually is adding another bay platform to Highbridge and Burnham Station here. Again, not realistic, but I'm not playing the game that realistically, so I'm not too worried about that. So if you don't mind, I don't mind either. So we'll add a bay platform there, and then we can run a local service coming out of there to connect these towns here. Let's have a look then at this station. Let's configure this. Okay, it's going to be high speed. We're not electrified down here. So... Uh, mm. Do I want it running straight? I don't want it running up to that building, I don't think. So if we have that running... 
Will that be long enough? Oh, I could run it to there. And then realign the, this track here. That's quite a long... That, that'll be 160, won't it? Which I th That's probably 180. Well, let's, let's not do that. Let's just put another platform on there. And we'll see how that works for us. Uh, so what have we got? I should stop zooming out when I don't want to zoom out. Uh, we could put... What platforms do I have? Passenger platform. Um, we want an empty one, ideally. What do you look like? Oh, you're era A. You say era C. Yeah, you do look quite different to the existing <laughs> platforms. But let's see how this works. We'll put you down there. That's okay. Yeah, we're going to need to rearrange this, I think. That should do, I think. Put some track in. Get rid of you for a minute. And we'll take you to there. Take you to there. And this track, can we do that? We can. Do I want to double slip it there? Which is, again, not, not a terribly efficient way of doing things, apparently. According to the people who understand how railways work, that's not terribly efficient. Which I wonder, could we? Why? Oh, I don't want electrification. Oh, bother. Turn that off. No. Uh, oh, good, that track's not electrified, so that's fine. Good. Could I run that out? No catenary. There you are. Turn it off. That's quite a good speed, isn't it? Yeah. And can I then run that out to there? That's an awful speed. And that will interfere potentially with the expresses coming in and out of of the main station. No, we're not going to do that. So how, that, how fast was that? That's fine. We'll leave that, I, th I think. Yeah. And we'll double slip that there. That's good, I think. Uh, so the signals we want to go in there. We'll use you. And we're going to be one way for a second. So we're going to be one way coming up there. Uh, we need a switch there, don't we? So actually, what trains do I have coming in here? Ah, okay, so we just need one track going across there. No. Do it. Do it. Why are you not doing it? You're not quite happy doing it that way, aren't you? That looks like it will work. Splendid. So, uh, what signals do we want in there? Uh, we want... These won't be one way. So, I have you and you. Uh, you won't be one way either. Coming out of there think that should be all right we shouldn't get anything stuck in there right so that allows us to put another service a local service in there we're going to need to come off that track to come down to Barrow here so where's our station going to go in Barrow so what do we choices do we have in here it's a very simple station this isn't it I think so we're just going to stick with a very simple what's that underground no NL Ooh. or North Network South East. Now these don't have buildings on them. Okay, so we're going to have to put a building in ourselves, presumably. We could have it out here, I think, by the industrial heart of Barrow. Yeah, let's do that. We'll take you away. 
put our station in here. Uh, it's going to be... Oh, may, oh, we can put buildings on automatically. We are a bit modern. High speed, no catenary. Okay, well, well, we'll try that. We'll suck that and see. Uh, we do probably want two tracks. I think here. Yeah. That's almost perfectly lined up there, isn't it? Splendid. So that's Barrow uh, and Breen. We could probably do pretty much the same thing here, couldn't we? We'll get rid of that. Stick one of them stations on here. Actually, hmm. Do I want to connect it in then to Western Supermare? I know. Hmm. We have, actually, we have got a cargo station which we're not using here anymore. Could I repurpose that? Good question. We're not going to do that for the moment. I don't... Mm, no, we're not going to do that for the moment. We're going to stick... So, But we will stick a through station on here rather than a terminal. Okie dokie, and some high speed tracks without catenary. We'll do parallel. And it, oh, I can't, I never remember which side it puts them on. <laughs> yep, that's correct side. Good. And you're going to go straight into Barrow there. That's nice. And we're going to come out of Barrow. And we're going to have to come up here take the parallel track off because I don't think it'll do it anyway Ooh, that's annoying isn't it I think I've got lines coming across there I have truck lines those fuel deliveries can I come off hmm going to uh, can I come off later like here and then connect to that station without it being too appalling. That actually isn't too awful. Not terribly happy about that uh, level crossing though. No. We'll, we'll, we'll take it anyway I think. We'll take that uh, and just see how well that stands up to actual operation. Run you in there and run you into there. Superb. Okay, a little bit of signaling. And we'll have one way signals. Going up there. You'll be quite late. Actually, what I'll do is if I move that signal back a bit, which I think should give the express trains a little bit of precedence over the local service we've got coming in there okay and do we need uh, we'll put we'll put another signal up here as well just to sort of clear that switch that should be all right and likewise coming down here we'll have a switch there a switch i mean a signal but you know what i mean and I'll have a couple in the middle, just for the sake of argument. There we go. And out here. We're going to need a crossover here. And if we come in on the first platform here, then we're going to go back out on that line. So we'll just put that in. I don't know how many trains we're going to, how many routes we're going to have coming in and out of here, but that, that'll probably be enough, certainly for the time being. And we'll put you in there. Good. And we will auto signal our way. That will make it slightly shorter. 350 meters. Yeah. From there. Oh, that looks good to me. Okay, I'm happy with that. And likewise going out. 
Okay, so we now need a new route. And what colours do we have here? We have purple, we have green, a nice local blue, or a dark, no, not, not green. Yeah, we'll use a nice dark blue, I think. Coming from Highbridge and Burnham through to Barrow and then on to Breen, back to Barrow and we're back there. That should be good. That should be good. Now, now of course, I don't have a train depot anywhere near here, do I? <laughs> Did I create one somewhere nearby? I thought I did. Then again, no. Really? I've got nothing round here? Oh, I did have, didn't I, round here by the oil refinery. Then I took it away. <laughs> that was a touch reckless, wasn't it? Uh, but we could stick one here. I think that might make some kind of logical kind of sense having a depot here at Western. Which does kind of suggest that I'm going to put passenger services in here as well. Okay, we're going to put a depot in here just because I need a depot. Cause there's no, there's no mm, we could get a train down here from Bristol, but it's going to take so long. It'll be so convoluted. We're not, no, we're not going to wait for that to happen. Uh, it's going to be a simple train depot uh, up here. It's not going to be electrified. Uh, we'll get it to line up there, I think. So, so, yeah, I think that kind of makes sense. And some tracks, some electric non catenary track. We'll get you out of here. I need to get you across all these. That's it. If I take you to there, okay, and then we can get you from there. Across and out. Actually, if I take you to there, you don't really need to go because that's on the wrong side of the tracks to be honest but that will do and then we can cut across can we yes we can can we then get into ooh just about <laughs> into Breen yeah that that's fine that's fine put you there okay and split you off to there as well that's good and being a depot track of course we want some signals to prevent you getting in the way of uh, proper traffic in there cool that should be able to do that now so what local service do we want to go oh if I put that line in I did I didn't give it a name did I let's give it a name what's it going to be I think we'll just call it Highbridge Breen for the moment. And we just want a little local service coming up here, which will be a nice little diesel multiple unit. Um, Northern, no, the 143, you're carrying 30 at 75 miles an hour. Kind of, re oh, this is the Pacer. Ah. Or do we want the, the first colours? Don't know. We'll use a couple of these. So that's that's just 30. Okay, we'll put two in for the moment. And you can go on to can you reach the hybrid breen? Tell me you, you can. Awesome. Right, so they're going to get underway. I'm going to get the game running. And I need to make sure. Yep. Okay, what I'll do is I will quickly now set up a little bus route to get people around here from these far distant parts of Breen and equally Barrow to get people to these uh, train stations. Okay, so I've set up uh, three new bus routes to help service these train stations. We've got a little local circuit here in Breen. 
which is that one there. We have got a little local circuit, which is the green one here in Barrow. I've also added in a bus service between Burnham-on-Sea, which doesn't have its own unique train station, passenger train station anyway. Uh, so I've connected Burnham-on-Sea to Barrow by this red bus line as well. I've not put any buses on them just yet because we're on December the 28th of 2001 and I just happen to know that come the turn of the year we're going to get a whole new suite of new buses to choose from. I'm not sure if any of them will be appropriate but we shall find out in just a very few moments. Oh, the trains are already arriving by the way. There's our little GWR pacers. Looking really cool. Arriving at a network southeast train station, but hey ho. Now what do we oh they're all oh, these look quite expensive. They do. And some interesting new trains as well. Oh there's loads going on. Oh some new first great western oh so much going on. Okay. The trains aren't obviously gonna have anybody why are you sat there waiting? Oh, you're going now. Good. Uh, yes, so let's have a look at our buses. We've got a bus depot in Highbridge. There we are. That's our nearest one, really. Okay, so let's have a look. What buses do we have here? Uh, can I tell which ones are new? Uh, probably... Oh, all these stagecoats. What? Stage... Oh, they're expensive. 40 people. No. No, don't want a stagecoach bus round here anyway. 87, all oh, these are all quite expensive to run. You're 76, which isn't too bad, but for a little local bus, that, that's too fast, 62 miles an hour. Yeah, these are good. But again, a little bit on the pricey and sophisticated side. So we're going to stick with our existing units. Now I was looking at the Super Dart, or was it the Super Dart? Or the Mini Dart, that was it. 15 people, 54 miles an hour, 65,000 a year, although the old Dennis Dart is 52. Uh, the National, uh, the Leyland bus is 56 which does come in appropriate liveries, to be honest. So that's quite tempting. Yeah, we're going to go with the cheapish, Le cheapish Leyland bus because we can put that in a Badger Line livery, which is what is relatively appropriate for this part of the world. So we're going to take... Uh, we'll take three for each of them. So that'll be six for our two local loops. So we'll put three of you on Breen. The Breen Station Circle. There you go. And three of you can go on the Barrow Station Loop. Now for this one we have got a couple of stretches of faster country road between Burnham on and Barrow. So we could choose a slightly better faster bus. What have we got? We could, could use the pointers. Now, do you have an appropriate... You've got a first bus Midland. Oh, you are all very Midlandy, aren't you? <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. We'll go with you. So what have we got? D and G, first bus Midland Red. What colour are you? You're first bus-ish, aren't you? So, okay, we'll take three of you again. Yeah, we'll try that. And you can go on High Bridge Barrow. What do you guys look like? Where's the depot gone? I've lost it. Oh, you're all the way over there. Here you are coming out. Or oh, you're the first buses. Worcester. Yeah, we are a bit far from Worcester, but uh, nobody's. Yeah, nobody tell anybody. We'll get away with that. Don't worry. Okay, that's the, that new line set up. Now there's one or two others I was looking at doing as well. So if we move away from Western Supermare for a while, uh, I was looking actually at Avonmouth. You may remember we've got this um, old... Oh, hang on. Just, oh dear, that's, that's very full. Okay, may need to look at the 
the cargo, the freight handling from there. We have got this station here, Avonmouth North, which I think we finally got working. We have finally got it working. Our new little suburban route directly into Bristol Parkway. Oh, it's not making money. I thought you were. Oh, you so nearly did. Ooh, I know you are looking to be in profit there, but it's obviously, yeah, it's hanging over on a loss. Mm, we're not getting many passengers, are we? I thought, I'm sure I was making money out of that when I was looking at this a while ago. Well, I've lost Parkway again. I'm always losing Parkway. There it is. So that's you coming in there. I've got six people. Oh, that's not so good, is it? Ah. What, what, what had occurred to me is we might be able to beef up the demand in Avonmouth or the usage of Avonmouth North here. By actually connecting it in to Patchway, which is here. But can we do that? I'm just wondering. What I was actually, what occurred to me, I was just trying to think, because this was a week or two back when I had this bright idea, is actually have a second station in Patchway over here, which would be a lot easier to route. Because, yeah, because Patchway is directly connected into Parkway there. So if we had a little route going from Avonmouth North to Patchway here, have we got anything running here? Oh, we do have, yeah, we do have, a, uh, no, there's no stops down there particularly. Well, there's one stop there, which goes bus route into wherever that is, Westbury on Trim. I think that might work. And actually... Ooh, could we then feed that? Where could we then feed that into? Pilning's a little bit... Oh, have we got a station in Pilning? I thought we had. Oh, it's all the way up there. Pilning, uh, Pilning High Level. We don't have another Pilning station. We've got Seven Beach there. That might be an interesting... Yes. Connecting Avonmouth North, which was briefly connected to Seven Beach was quite a few episodes ago. So let's actually try that, shall we? Let's take all these little road stubs here, off there, and let's put in a sexy new train station. Which one shall we use? Now these are a curious set of station mods which have... Uh, asymmetrical stations, all sorts of variations upon this. I do need to play with some of these modded stations to understand them properly. But actually, this one, don't want container, we've got high speed, tram track, no. Platform height, platform length, if I make that. It's a little bit too short. Uh, container, no. Subway station, oh. 80 is a little bit too short, perhaps. But then again, it might work. Shall we try this? Let's do that. So what variations have we got here? So that's that. Uh, what lengths of station? We've got 180 or 80. I don't know if we can configure these. Again, all these mods are in my Steam collection. Uh, a, a link to which is in the description below if you fancy checking these out. So if we put you there or there. I don't want to get too close to that roundabout. That's what I'm thinking. If we're going to take this track off somewhere else. Okay, let's see what happens there. Can I configure this at all? Not particularly by the look of it. Oh, that's for the... Diff ah, okay. Again, I need to play with these a lot more. But <laughs> okay, so that's, uh, that's the Patchway West. Oh, that'll do nicely. That is probably west of Patchway. Uh, so we're going to be coming out of Avonmouth North here. Oh, this is going to be fun. Because it does a tight turn there to go to Parkway. How are we going to get that up there? We could come off here, couldn't we? 
I think. Let's try that. Can we get that to work? Uh, where's the switch? Okay, so can I then get you up here? Wait for the autosave to finish his business and perhaps run you yeah, the other side of that farm. That looks like it will work. Ooh, we've got funky tunneling stuff going on there. But that's okay, I think. I would like it to get out of that hill quicker, but I'm not sure it can. Okay, we'll try the autosave is done, so we will take you like so. And we'll take another stretch like so as well. Okay, that's to there. So can we... Oh, we can get you above ground reasonably quickly. That's fine. Good. Do I want an embankment or anything there? Probably not. Oh, it's going to have to be some sort of embankment by the look of it. That's going... Do we need it to go up quite that much? Oh, that's on the flat. That's better. <laughs> that's better. Yeah, so if we take it like so, bring you round. Can I bring you into the station? Oh, what's it doing? Don't crash on me. It's not crashed, I don't think. Excellent. Uh, not yet, anyway. <laughs> Okay, let's let's cancel that for a second. Let's get this track out here. Shall we? Like so. Can I then where are we coming from? We're coming from here. Can I connect you to that? I can. Awesome. Okay, that's that done. Just connect this little bit up here. I think that should be... Oh, no, you're not connected. Where's the connection? Oh, there it is. That's fine. Connect you back up to... There. Are you connected? Yes, looks like you are. Splendid. And uh, we need to finish this bit of track off here. Into the station. Well, oh, just think, actually, this is the correct way around, isn't it? Because they're going up on the left. That's fine. <laughs> just occurred to me. All right, so that's going there. Uh, where's Seven Beach? Okay, this is a little bit. Oh, this is a little bit of a tight corner, isn't it? Oh heck! And if we take you around there. We have embankment going on there. We're not going to have a vast number of trains running this route, so I don't think it will worry me too much if we have a level crossing like what we've got there. But we need to bring you into Seven Beach somehow. So you probably need to be a little bit further down. That's a slow corner. There's a very slow corner. Okay, and this road probably needs a little bit of rework, but we're going to take that. And can I bring you... Which side am I on here? I'm on the left-hand side, so that's fine. So this is the coming into Seven Beach. Oh, and you will actually do that somehow. Okay, it's not going to show it to me. Okay, it said it did, but it didn't want to. <laughs> so, all right, so if we put you to there, that's not bad, actually. That is not too bad. I can't get you to there. All right, so if we... Actually, I think bring you Actually, if I take you to there. How can we bring you into here? That's 
looking very acceptable, actually, isn't it? That is looking splendid. Okay, let's take that. And let's see if we... Oh, I want an embankment on there. Let's try that again, shall we? With... Embankment. Good, thank you. Uh, let's draw this round. Are you going to draw me round there? Didn't seem terribly happy doing it, but we'll take that. To there. Uh, getting the final stretch in. We're a bit close to one of those road. Oh, no, that's fine. And can we connect you? Okay, I'll bring you into there. And let's get this final little bit. Ah, there you go. That's it. Wow. Okay, that seems to work all right. Splendid. Oh, actually, how many trains have we got? How many routes have we got coming to Seven Beach? Just the one. Oh, that's splendid. And you're on that side there. That's f okay. Right, let's set up a brand new line once again. We're going to be coming from Avon Mouth North into Patchway West off to Seven Beach, back to Patchway West, and we're done. Good. I have no idea if this will actually generate any good revenue or not, but it looks like a fun thing to do. And I've just lost it. There it is. Let's rename you. We'll give it a rather long name. Avonmouth 7 via Patchway, because that's what it is. Okay. Let's check this station out. How are the terminals laying out? Terminals... Seems to be working okay. Good. That is very good indeed. Uh, what sort of reach do you have? Oh, you actually have quite a good reach. But I'll probably put another bus route in there anyway. Okay, now, do I have a way of getting trains to that route? And the answer is probably going to be a little bit like no. I've got this depot here. But you can't easily get to Avonmouth North. Uh, actually, we've got depots here. You go to... Oof. You go out that way. And you'll go out that way. No, there's no... Uh, can we get... Can we get this depot here to serve Patchway West? That's an interesting question. Let's see if we can do that. I could simply put in another another depot. I could kind of cheat it, but I don't want to do that. couple of cheap and probably unprofitable <laughs> local service trains onto this route. Okay, so what trains do we want to put on this little route? Goodness knows how this is going to work. Again, some nice little local services uh, we could make these a little bit bigger I think and we could use the first uh, you're all northwestern aren't you um, this is a bit north of Bristol but well <laughs> Patchway is but not quite so much yeah, you're the same thing 158 uh, southwest not really uh, okay, we've got you. Oh, okay. Actually, yes, you might be good. You're going reasonably fast and you've got a fairly good capacity. Okay, let's stick, I think, let's try three on there. Can we 
get these trains onto this route, wherever that route is. And I've lost it again. There's Seven Beach. Add that. Buy those. Put them on Avonmouth 7. Oh my goodness. It found it. So what do these beauties look like? I'm sure we've seen them before. There they go. Awesome. Right, so that I think is quite enough work for today. <laughs> we have created... What have we done? We've done two new passenger routes, including some bus routes, which you didn't see me build, but, you know, they're there. So hopefully this will increase my passenger carrying. So how are these little pacers doing? Oh, they're carrying people. Three people. Okay, that's something, I suppose. They do sound quite noisy, don't they? You've got nobody on. Okay. Well, the buses... Where are the, oh, are the bus... The buses have turned up. Excellent. And you're going to have... Ooh, quite a few passengers. This might take off then. If we can get these passengers, if they're going into the bus, into the train station, we should be good. What are you waiting for? You know, the risk is they might interfere with the express service. Do I need to put extra tracks in there? I don't know. Anyway, as I was saying... We're going to leave this for the time being, and I will say thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Transport Fever 2. If you've enjoyed this, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just leave a, a click on the old thumbs up button. Of course, what would be even better is to hear from you. If you've got any thoughts about what I'm doing with the game, where I'm going wrong, maybe if I'm getting anything right, or just generally about Transport Fever, Transport Fever 2, of course, that one. This is this one. Um, anything you feel like saying, just drop it into the comments box below. That would be awesome. Other than that, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.